Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I wanted to talk about how I feel brands can improve so that the beauty industry, the beauty community keeps going, keeps evolving, and we stay interested in what we are passionate about. We as beauty enthusiasts are going to continue to be enthusiasts. With that said though, brands need to make sure that we maintain that enthusiasm with the products that they're coming out with. So with everything going on now, the path that the beauty community industry is going, they might need to take a little bit more notice of things other than their makeup inventory. So if you're interested in what I have to say on the topic, I hope you decide to stay tuned because we're gonna get straight into the video. I think it would be a fun idea for brands to take more ownership in the promotion of their products. And what I mean by that is not relying on influencers to speak on behalf of their makeup. With influencers, regardless of, of how you think about it, there is a sense of bias when you're offering someone set amount of money in order to speak about your product. What person who uses YouTube as their source of income wants to ruin any opportunity to continue such livelihood? Now, this is not saying that there aren't people out there who are honest. There are people out there. But if the brand truly believes in their product, they should be able to get us to buy the makeup items themselves instead of relying on other people to do the work for them. Because money talks, money talks. And I just feel that they need to work a little harder to earn our coin. I've spoken about this next one before and I know the strategy behind it, but I do wanna talk about makeup models. So when brands are putting makeup on models or they're gearing up for advertisement, I think we're moving into a time, I mean, we're already here, but the acknowledgement of diversity and whether that's diversity in size, diversity in your skin tone, whatever that may be, that's now. It's important and although it might sound negative, it is trendy. It is the trend to be inclusive and if you are not, people usually get canceled. So with that said, incorporating and being inclusive when you have models to represent your products or represent your brand will go a long way because that's what people are looking for. We've already gotten brands who come out with the shade range, but we wanna see different types of people wearing that makeup. Not always the kind of standardized model wearing them, on the advertisement. For me who has, you know, textured skin, porous skin, I would love to see someone who has similar skin issues to me try on a product and truly see how it works for them. I can't relate to people who have flawless skin. So having the brand tell me, "Hey, like this can this can truly work for you." and be realistic about it. I would truly appreciate that. And I think a lot of people will as well. This next one I feel is, is kind of inevitable with the way uh, makeup consumers are talking about just how much makeup fatigue they're having. I think brands need to pull back a little bit they're going to make money regardless. Again, I've mentioned this before. It's like, how much money do you need? Do you want my wallet to stay in your basket? Yeah, so listen to me. I truly think that's what it is. People are just, they're overwhelmed and it becomes a little lackluster. You don't get excited anymore. And I think brands need to realize that a lot of makeup consumers, that's what they're wanting. They're wanting to get excited again. Brands can pull back, maybe take some time to think a little bit deeper about how to start new trends, how to bring back old trends and make it effective. Using their time to do that as opposed to, okay, we need it. We need a new release next month. Brands that do that, I find are a little bit more successful. Case in point, Fenty. Fenty doesn't come out with a lot of stuff all at once, but I can say just based on what a lot of people people are talking about with every release and them working hard on their product, 
there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk about them and in a good way. So that kind of strategy is picking up. Fenty is one of those top tier brands and they're not coming out with things every week. So taking a note from them, slowing it down, being more purposeful with what they're coming out with can definitely improve their business and customer relationship. Next up, we have interaction. For some brands, there are brands that do like an awesome job at interaction, but there are those certain top tier brands that they pretty much just, hey, here, buy my product. This is just that's it. The more personable they seem, the more in contact they seem, the more relatable they seem. They are taking the time out of their day to acknowledge you, the customer, and what you have to say. For some people, a simple like on a post that you use their makeup product in, like that uplifts your spirit. I remember when, you know, Tatcha first gave me a like and they, they gave me like a short comment and that just made me so happy to have my look be acknowledged by someone that actually produced the product. At the end of the day, the customer wants to feel appreciated and the company wants to make sure that you stick around with them. And how often do we say that communication is key? So being able to interact, to say thank you and you're welcome, to give critique and receive it, like that's all part of it. So if there's more communication between company and consumer, the more middle ground they'll be able to see instead of it you being here and me being here kind of need to go hand in hand in order for things to work for both of you. This next one I think is more like a case by case situation, but some brands I feel need to work on understanding their base a little bit more. And when they try to attract new customers, that they do it effectively. So what I mean is if, if a brand is well known for a certain thing, they can roll with that and make products that kind of are similar to it, but maintaining that initial attraction. So let's say a brand is known for highlighters. Their formula is amazing. So they're like, okay, we should come out with, you know, more highlighters. So people are speaking about the formula, but maybe get a few critiques on shade ranges. So maintenance of the formula, but working on the color selection, you're gonna get some happy customers. So listening to your base, your true money makers, <laughs> if you will. That's where your longevity is going to run. Make sure that you're listening to them, the people that constantly come back to your products. But when you're wanting to attract another set group of customers, you need to do your research and keep in mind that those customers are not your base audience. So you have people working to satisfy your base and then have someone else doing research into, let's say uh, maybe you wanna do like a grunge palette, but you're known for neutral eyeshadow palettes. Look at the brands that are known for those grunge palettes. Look at the color selections that they're coming out with and people are raving about and attack that way. There have been brands I feel who have taken this new idea, this new concept, and still wanna add in a little bit of their own, and then it just becomes blah for a lot of people. Like if you wanna go different, go different. But make sure that you've got all your information down, knowing what customers want, knowing what that audience wants, and attack the production of new items that way. There is absolutely nothing wrong with variety. That's what makes the world go round, having everyone have their own options to choose from. But being mindful of that so that the company is not left with a whole bunch of products that people are not using and the customers are not satisfied with the products that they did buy from you. Again, it's about communication. We got the money and you want it. That's the way it's gotta work. So those are my thoughts on what I feel brands can improve on in order to kind of vamp up the beauty industry. There's so much going on and so little going on at the same time. So much so that I think brands need to revisit their marketing, their production, to maintain interest from the customers and quite frankly, to ensure that money's still coming in. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're interested, 
interested in this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. First link in the description box down below. I've already posted a photo there of this makeup look along with all the products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.